in the street and there weren't <clears throat> many kids and I mean when I say live in the street I really slept in the street in yes right yes you know uh, no family nothing and uh, all the time I wanted to be you know a blues man so I thought you know you had to suffer and you know have yellow eyes and this kind of thing you know to be a blues man and uh, it's difficult uh, when you're, you're, you've got kind of a chubby face and freckles and you're a very young boy, say, well, what, what do you do? And you say, well, I'm a blues man. People laugh at you, you know. <laughs> but that's part of, uh, I think, becoming a blues man, that's part of it. Spanish uh, mixed and um, Basque really not Spanish but it is Spanish I don't know uh, Puerto Ricans yeah the Mexicans the black people I, I but I like to think of myself as this is another reason why I love New Orleans because the musicians there are colorblind we're colorblind nobody cares if you're white and you sing the blues that's, that's a white man's mentality, you know? That's the type of way somebody from New York would think, oh, well, you're white and you sing the blues? It must be boring. You can't have the blues, you're white. But white people do feel blue. If you have any sort of ethnic roots still, you feel blue. You feel blue when you watch uh, CNN and you see what's happening in Bosnia or in Somalia or wherever, you know, you feel bad. That's, that's a blue feeling. So, um, sure, of course white people feel the blues, you know. And uh, I think that, uh, but now rhythm is something else. That's something, but I know black people have no rhythm too, you know, so it's funny. I actually know black people who have no rhythm. I mean, people. They can't dance. Oh. You know, there's an old saying, all black people can sing and dance, right? 
It's not true. No, it's not true. It's a cliche, yeah. As an escape, a mu musical escape artist, I would be probably a cross between uh, Harry Houdini with an electric guitar. Uh, I, I kind of, I don't like to live in this century, you know, so that's also why I live in New Orleans, because in New Orleans, this is my way I usually walk around, you know, if I'm going out to dinner. Um, or if you're going to the opera or a play or something, you know. Uh, I live in another time. When I come outside of New Orleans, it's very strange to come out to the modern world with airplanes and all that stuff, you know. Uh, I like the carriages and, you know. was recorded maybe 40 times, okay? And everybody always thinks Jimi Hendrix. Well, I first heard it 
when I was about 14 by a group called uh, Arthur Lee and Love. And there was an, another group called The Leaves that did it, another guy, Tim Rose, did it. A lot of people did it. Johnny Holiday did it, everybody did it. And everybody does it pretty much the same way. Or there's two different ways you can do it. Uno, dos, un, dos, tres, un. Hey, Joe, where you going with all that money in your head? You said I'm going to see my woman. I heard she's been messing around with some other man. I heard she did. I'm going downtown. I'm going to buy me a blue steel 44. I'm going downtown. I'm going to buy me a blue steel 44. Catch up with that girl, she won't be messing around on me no more. Stole in your head. He said, I'm going to see my woman. I know she messing around with some other man. I said, Hey, Joe, I heard that you shot your old lady down. I said, Hey, Joe, I heard that you shot your woman down. He said, Yes, I did. Cause I caught her messing around. The song is about this guy who kills his woman, a typical Mexican type opera, if you may, uh, who's gonna leave that town and go back to Mexico, which comes out of the Texas Mexican area. So I thought, I wonder what the song must have first sounded like. It would be with a mariachi band. And the chords. Even when you hear Jimi Hendrix play, where it goes da 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 da, those that's a typical sort of mariachi uh, bass line. Get strong, and uh, I was talking to the guys in the band, and I said, "Would you like to record with me? I'm doing a record, and I had this really kind of weird idea. Strange, you know this song, Hey Joe? No, they had no idea even who Jimi Hendrix was. They knew a little bit." Uh, the, uh, Jimi Hendrix, yeah, yeah. You know, these are Mex real Mexican guys, you know. Uh, so I said, well, I have this idea for this song. It's kind of like a rock and roll song now. But I want to take the chords and Victor, who is their, uh, Victor, who is their uh, musical director, he came to my hotel and we sat down with two guitars and, and um, I played him the chords and I said, now, how can we make that sound more Mexican? He said, oh, it's easy. Just go, that's the intro thing there, that's the middle piece. So I worked with him for two days on that, and then we brought the mariachis in, and we cut it, and it was like, it just, you know, it was uh, very natural. The song lent itself very, very naturally to, to that style, you know.
In the past uh, 10 years, I've lost uh, 10 people in my life, you know. So you start to realize that uh, life is a very precious thing, you know. It's a very precious thing. Uh, but in a way, you can throw it away, you know, devil may care, you know, because don't, don't attach yourself too much to it because then you're going to have a problem when you do have to make that transition when the time comes, you know, which will come. It comes for everybody. Sometime everybody's going to die, so there's no sense in being really afraid of it. I'm not afraid of God, you know what I mean? very strong angels. I should have been, yeah, I, I should have been dead. I, I was with a psychic woman, um, uh, must have been, I guess, I don't know, six months ago in New Orleans. And she said, yeah. I can see you, you should have been dead many times before. Somehow you slipped out of death's hands. She says, very strange, you know? And I said, oh God, thank you. <laughs> you know, this is really weird. And all those, and then I think about all those people that I lost, you know, they didn't, they weren't so lucky. They weren't so lucky. So I know that uh, 
my angels. See, I don't think God really has a lot of time for me. That's why I have angels, but I, I have very good angels. finally kind of figured out what success is, I think, you know, it took a long time to figure that out. And once you figure out what success really is, then you're successful. Only until you figure that out. And being successful is not uh, having Michael Jackson's bank account, although that would be nice, you know. Uh, it's, it's having family. It's having people who love you, it's, it's loving people, it's the experience of life, you know. Ooh, love and emotion. 